We know John Silver just from literature and from, you know mythology. How, who is this John Silver that we're meeting in Black Sails? So when we come across Silver, he's a sailor on a merchant ship that gets taken over by Flint's crew. So he isn't a pirate, and in the first episode we get to experience uh, the new, this world of pirates through Silver's eyes, like at the same time the audience does, which is really nice. So yeah, he's, but the Silver's just a guy out for himself. Uh, I think the Silver we see in the book, even though he'll double-cross anyone, he's very much a man of the crew. You know, he... he he knows how to manipulate people, but he's one of the guys. Civil, when we meet him in this show, is only out for himself. And he doesn't even hide it. He very openly says that he's about keeping his neck off the chopping block, and that's it. Yeah. I know there are some ladies in the cast. Is it safe to say there's some romance in the stories as well? There definitely is. Um, I think the thing about this show is that it's all about survival. At any point, anyone could, you know, could be dead. You know, walk in the plank or hung at the gallows. So... Some romance comes in, but it's kind of falls second to people not dying. <laughs> and I think that, and for Silver, definitely, so many people are trying to kill him that, uh, you know, there are some kind of romantic things happening, but it's definitely not on the top of his list of things to worry about. And most important, is the hair Luke hair or is it Silver hair? This is Luke hair. I, uh, yeah, I, uh, this is kind of how I keep my hair, and, you know, I'm so. Because pretty much, look, you know, you, I could have cut my hair and played a lot of neat and tidy roles, and that would have been all right. Or you keep the long hair, can't get any of them, and when a pirate show comes along, yeah, it all happens. So I'm glad that I didn't get that haircut for the last few years. All right, so Zach, you know, I know you from Shameless. Black Sails seems like a little different kind of show. Tell, just tell me how this show came about for you. Was it audition? Did you know? Tell me about that. Oh uh, yeah, I was actually uh, I was actually uh, finishing up uh, season three of Shameless and uh, found out that. Uh, I, you know, just creatively, they were they weren't going to need me for all the episodes in the next season, and so I kind of had like an open moment, and uh, you know, talked to my agents and whatnot, because I had, they hadn't really been looking for work for me at that time, because I was a little wrapped up, and uh, he was like, "It's funny you say that. I was just reading about this pirate show, and they, I mean, they've kind of they've kind of been through most of the casting process, and there's really only like one part left, but I think it's perfect for you." I'll send you the script now, and uh, and I'll I'll start working on my side to see if I can get you in. And but you tell me if you like it, and uh, and I read it. And you know he knew he you know, as my manager he knew like I do I do a lot of accent stuff and voiceover work and whatnot. So he knew I could do that. So it, it wasn't about that. It was just like you know you want to you want to move to Cape Town and be a pirate and and you like this thing. And I was like I was like I read it and I was like I have to do this part. Like you have to get me in. You didn't have to cut your hair. No, and I didn't have to cut my hair, which was great. <laughs> so, so who is Captain Ben? You say he's cocky, son of a bitch. Tell, you know, what's he about? Is he a good guy, more bad? What is he well, you know, I mean, I think if you're looking for, like, easy categories, I think he, he, for early on people think he's the baddie. But this world is not one where uh, good and bad are, are, are so clearly defined. Uh, and right and wrong is, is sometimes a very hard thing to figure out because when you put wild animals in corners you know they're really just trying to sometimes just survive the the day uh and that's there's a lot of that in this show where you know you you know you, you corner a wolf you corner a you know and and things are going to get a little dicey and that's uh so that's kind of who he is uh he, he he's he, he's very much uh he's a bit of an animal um but in a good way and uh he, uh, he's a very uncompromising person. Uh, he's certainly not nearly as sweet as Jody is, uh, and, uh, or, or, or I am sometimes. And uh, it's, it's really freeing to play something like that, you know? He, he, doesn't, he, doesn't really, he doesn't really care whether someone likes him, hates him, or not. As long as they fear him, he's cool.